I have another persona. Come again? You know me as Philip Martin, and a lot of other people know me as Philip Martin is. <laughs> it is something kinky, isn't it? No, I don't. Philip Martin is writes novels, oh. romance novels. And you dress up as a No, look, don't be stupid. I am her. I'm not looking for a replacement for Emily. Maybe I was in the beginning. I soon realised the only way to really cope with grieving was to let go. Why are you asking me all these questions? Because your parents made a complaint to the school. About what? They think he doesn't pay as much attention to the girls as he does to the boys. Now they're trying to get him sacked just because he's gay, and I need to know if you're involved. Hi. Hi. Billy told me about the complaints my parents made. Did he? She didn't even know about them, Mum. They never discussed it with you at all. Well, they had, but I just thought it was how they talk about all sorts of things. Didn't realise they'd make a complaint about it. Well, what exactly have they discussed with you about, Mr Watson? Mum, Melissa hasn't got anything to do with this. Have you, Mel? Actually, I agreed with them a bit. What? Not about making the complaint, just about the way Mr Watson lives. You know, him being gay. Melissa, don't you think that's his business? Yeah, and that's what I tried to tell Mum and Dad. Just because you don't agree with something doesn't give you the right to stop it from happening. But they don't agree with that. In this case, I guess they do. It doesn't take much to get them upset over something like this. Oh, no. What, is there something else? I, I think this whole thing could be my fault. Mel, no. You haven't done anything. Maybe I have. My parents might have got the wrong idea from what I told them about Mr Watson. Spending all that time with Billy, helping him with his dyslexia. How could they possibly hold that against him? Mr. Watson never once disadvantaged any other kid while he was helping Billy. I know. I talk about Billy a lot. Maybe I make it sound like he's ignoring everyone else. I see. <laughs> well, it's still not her fault. No, no one's saying it is, sweetheart. What we have to do now is work out how to handle it so it doesn't cause anyone any more trouble than it already has. 